Daily in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. So, Dillian White is not happy with Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder. Well, I say he's, he's unhappy with Tyson Fury. Maybe that bit there is wrong. He was just giving his opinion. Now, of course, I've seen this on the fight night when Tyson Fury fought Francesco Pianetta. And I've seen Dillian White's brief reaction there over on Instagram. So, I'll tell you what it is that uh, Dillian White said firstly about Tyson Fury. And then what he said about Deontay Wilder. Actually, other way around, we'll do Deontay Wilder first. So this is Dillian White's statement on Deontay Wilder. This is the heavyweight champion of the boxing. Biggest coward. He don't want to face his number one challenger. Let's go bum squad. So that was Dillian White there on his um, Instagram. Obviously, when the cameras pan round to look at Deontay Wilder, this is when Dillian White said that. And then about Tyson Fury. Mark my words, I would knock Tyson Fury out in five rounds maximum. Trust me, this is nonsense. What is this? Two powder puff men pounding each other. So that's Dillian White's statement there. So he was doing this when the fight was mid-fight. It was, I think it was around about round six or seven, whatever it was. And this is when Dillian White said that. So not impressed. Um, now, for me, the most important part is the Deontay Wilder one. Obviously, he, Dillian White is number one with the WBC. He's not the mandatory. He should be the mandatory, but the WBC dropped an absolute ball. They really did. So his whole reaction to Deontay Wilder is because him and Eddie Hearn have offered Deontay Wilder this fight for so long now. We're going back over a year now where Eddie Hearn and Dillian White have put in massive multi-million dollar offers. The latest one between seven and eight million dollars and Wilder still said no. In fact, he laughed at it. When your biggest payday is 2.1 million against Luis Ortiz, a guy who you say is the second most dangerous fighter in heavyweight, right after yourself, Deontay. So if Dillian White is an easier fight than Luis Ortiz, that's easy money, right? Seven or eight million? Come on, man. So, of course, he's calling Deontay Wilder a coward because he's just refusing to fight him. The reasons for it, for me, I can only see it as he's scared of Dillian. That's my honest opinion. I can't see why else he wouldn't want to fight him for that kind of money. I really can't. Now, people can say, well, he's going to be getting more than that for fighting Tyson Fury. Right, but when the offers came through, Tyson Fury wasn't even on the table. It wasn't even a thought. Dominic Brazil could be the next opportunity for Deontay Wilder. But, you know what? No matter. Wilder's scared of him. Fair enough. So, of course, he wants Tyson Fury. He sees Tyson Fury as a good opportunity for making very good money, which, of course, he will do, for an easier fight. And that's pretty much what Dillian White's been saying here. And he's been saying over the last couple of weeks anyway, that he would walk through Tyson Fury easy work. Apparently, that's what he did in sparring as well. The last time that them two sparred, um, apparently Dillian White beat him up. Obviously, I wasn't there. I don't know. But... Because Tyson Fury's been out for so long, Dillian White, Shannon Briggs, uh, Tony Bellew, plenty of others want Tyson Fury. Much like Deontay Wilder does, because they see him as, if you're going to fight him, now is the time to do it. He's not back to his best, and we could see that against Pianetta. Um, granted, he was looking better against Pianetta as the fight went on. Um, Tyson Fury improved, his timing was getting a little bit better, but he still wasn't unloading, he was holding back quite clearly. And a lot of that was because Pianetta slowed down because he was getting a little bit gassed. Deontay Wilder doesn't slow down. In fact, he's as strong as in, I mean, round number 12 as he is in round number 1. So, um, if a Tyson Fury is going to have to try and come on top of Wilder, then he's going to have to wait for Wilder to tie down, which isn't going to happen, it truly isn't. But, anyway... So he sees Tyson Fury as easy work and of course his fight with Pianetta he's seen as an absolute joke to uh, powder puff guys hitting each other. In other words they have zero power and he would knock out Tyson Fury within five rounds. And this is the thing so if Dillian White is saying that he would knock out Tyson Fury within five rounds quite clearly he's seeing Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury at this stage as a complete mismatch. Because Dillian said on, on quite a few occasions that he would not only beat and destroy Deontay Wilder, but it would be a very, very tough fight. 
So, but anyway, that is Dylan White's statement. You drop me yours. You you let me know what it is that you think about Dylan White's statement. What do you think about the fact that Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder are now getting it on? Is Wilder doing this because it's good money, easy fights? Um, is everybody underestimating Tyson Fury? Is Tyson Fury all this time out and the mental health and the weight issues and the personal problems and the drugs and the UCAD and all that kind of thing? Is all that just not important? I don't know. You drop your thoughts below. Click that thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.